Hi and welcome to the second part of the Melel video tutorial about pages. Let's get started. So I launched Melel and I'll open the um, demo document. And in the first part of the tutorial, we learned about how to set uh, page attributes, headers, footers, background color. We learned about different first page different odd and even pages and those things are actually quite advanced but I'd like to go even uh, further and go to more even more advanced topics and the first thing is mentions and mentions are part of the Melel auto title system which I won't go into uh, details about here but uh, for us at the moment, it's enough to know that this document contains auto titles. And uh, for example, this here, the first chapter, this element here is not just text. It, it is an auto title, which is a kind of a, a special element that represents the beginning of a part of the document, a chapter, subchapter, and so on. If we continue to scroll down in the document, we go to the middle chapter. This is also an auto title. And here at the end, also, there is another auto title for the ending chapter. So each chapter here begins with an auto title. So this document is using auto titles. Now let's see how we uh, use mentions. I'll click the header checkbox. I'll add a header to the document. I'll click inside the header and I'll choose here in the pop-up, insert mention, I'll, I'll choose level one. And now what happens is that this auto title is a level one auto title. And if I choose a mention for level one, Melel will insert the name of the level in the header and now this is something it's not just the text it's not just written here first chapter but it is an element that represents the current auto title and I'll show you I'll scroll down second page is still first chapter so good third page so on now we've reached uh, page number five where middle chapter begins and the mention says here middle chapter and the same goes for the last uh, auto title here ending chapter begins here and this changed to ending chapter so mentions are quite useful if you're using auto titles Okay, so I'll turn off the header. Now, once we learned about mentions, we have all the elements we need to achieve a certain kind of layout uh, that is very typical for books. And this layout is like this. The first page of a chapter should have no header and no footer. Other pages of the chapter, the second, the third, and so on, should have a header with a page number and the name of the chapter. So how do we do that? Well, obviously, the first page is different than the other pages, so we need to check the different first page checkbox. Now we go to the attributes of the first page. I clicked the first page and it says editing first page. And here I, I see the attributes and they say no header, no footer, so this is good, actually. Now let's go to the second page. Now here I want to have a header, so this the second page is one of the other pages, the non-first pages of the document. So uh, in the in the page palette, I have the the other pages selected. It's it's also saying editing all pages, so I'm editing the all the pages that are not the first and I'll check the header checkbox and now this is using the previous uh, 
header we had before. So it says first chapter. Let's delete it for a second. And we said that all the rest of the pages should have the page number and then the name of the chapter. So first we'll insert a page number, add a space, and then we will insert a mention of level one. First chapter. I'll prove that. And now the second page and the third page and so on have a header with the page number and the name of the chapter. The first page of the chapter, on the other hand, has no header and no footer. So this is quite close to what we wanted. Now let's switch to another view mode, the spread view mode that shows us right and left pages. Now looking here I see a problem because I would like to have left pages with the page number on the left and the mention here and right pages I would like to see with the page number on the right and the mention before that. So we should also have different odd and even pages. So let's check this different odd and even pages and let's correct it. So left page, I'll click inside the left page or select an odd page in the page palette, click header. So I'll insert the page number space and a mention. So this is good. Now I'll go to a right page or an uh, odd page. Let's delete that. Let's align everything to the right. So first we'll insert the mention and then we'll insert the page number. just like that and approve that and we have a left page with a number on the left and a right page with a number on the right and the page and the chapter name right next to it so this is how we do this kind of layout now let's continue down the document and here we have a problem because the middle chapter starts here and this is a problem uh, because we want chapters to begin on their own pages so this is the first thing the second thing is that we want to to have the first page of the chapter without a header so here we have header it's not a, it's not good so what can we do about this we could, of course, insert a page break here. So if I put my cursor here and choose insert breaks, page break, I inserted a page break, but this page has a header and it's not good. It's not what I wanted. Now I've reach the limitations of the system of doing first page then different first page and so on I need something more than that and this this little extra is called page ranges and I can divide my document into ranges into page ranges and each page range has its own first page and then odd and even pages and so on so I, it's like dividing the document into sub documents. So I'll delete the page break here and I'll insert, I'll choose in the insert a menu, breaks, page style break. And a page style break is what makes a page range. So if I insert a page style break, the the text is divided the, the the part before the text is becomes another page range than the part after the break i'll choose that 
And the first thing we see is that we, a page break was added. So a page style break is also always a page break. But also, as you can see, this page takes the attributes of a first page. So here in the middle of a document, we have a first page. And of course, the other pages continue to be the other pages, the rest of the pages. So odd and even and so on. Let's go to the last chapter and do the same thing. I'll put the cursor before the beginning of the chapter. Insert. Breaks. Page style break. And also this page is treated like a first page. Now looking at the, our document, I see another problem. If you open a book that is laid out correctly, has the chapters beginning always on the right page, which is an uh, even page, it, which is an odd page, excuse me. So the first chapter begins on the right, so it's good, it's an odd page. But here the second chapter begins on the left, which is not good. Now we could add a page break here and make and force it to be to start on this page. I'll do that. I, I put the cursor here, say insert breaks, page break. But we have two problems here. First, the the this the, the first page of the page range is actually here, and here we have no header and no footer, but here we have a header. So it's not good on this respect. And another problem is that if I make the text before that longer or shorter, this page break might not might not be appropriate because maybe I'll fill the text here and uh, reach here until here and then the next uh, page range starts correctly on the on a right page so it's not good a page break will not help us i'll delete that and i'll show you another thing you can do with a page range is to tell metal where where to start the page range and this is the range start pop-up in the page palette here it says currently any page, but I can select and tell Melel to start on an odd page. I'll select that and this page range starts on an odd page. And this page is a first page with all the attributes of a first page. And also if I make the text before that longer, let's uh, duplicate this text and make the text longer once I reach and I will, I, I'll overflow this page Melel will automatically jump to and add a blank page to start on the right so I'll undo that And let's do the same thing for the last chapter. So I'll click inside the page range of the last chapter and I'll tell the page range to start on an odd page. Okay, now this was actually not necessary because the, this page range already started on the right page. But if I make the text before that longer, just to show you what happens, the text overflowed here into this page and a blank page was added. So Melel will keep this chapter, the beginning of the chapter, on an odd page. Okay, so this concludes the second part of this uh, video tutorial. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.